Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3 Part 111, and we are back in our Maserati that you see the ass of here. For race number three of the Class R2 World Championship, here's the current points table. Can Spear score a point in this race? We shall see. We're going to go to Sedona for eight laps, 33 mile race. I get to do eight laps around Sedona. Fuck yeah. I am so excited about this, because, you know, Sedona is pretty much my favorite Forza track. Actually, there's no pretty much to it. It is my favorite Forza track. So. Thumbs up. Yeah. Sweetness. So here we go. The race is loaded. Here is the starting grid for round three of 11, just in case you might have forgot, and let's race. Don't like Sedona? It's okay. You can you can dislike things I like, that's fine, that's opinions, yeah! Alright, here we go. Time for eight laps around this wonderful, wonderful racing circuit, and... Takahashi gets the early jump. He got an amazing freaking launch in that uh, GTR. Holy crap. Meanwhile, Rossi and Evans were caught sleeping, and I'm already in P1. So Rossi and... Okay, okay, car, careful now. So Rossi and Evans got extra, uh, absolutely atrocious launches. Takahashi got an amazing launch, and we are three wide into this first right-hander. I don't want any part of this. Well, I got the early lead, but I was a little too, uh, chicken on the transition off the oval. So, back down to third. Gonna have to actually work for this, but that's fine. First lap is the feeling out process anyways. Okay, hello. Not how you do that turn. Oh boy. Remaster GT series. Oh boy. This discussion again. I'm just not going to, uh. I, I think I've gave my two cents too many times about the whole remaster GT thing. So I'm just not going to, uh, do it again. Alright, this thing has good brakes, so I can. Before to maybe make a dive to this turn, that was a very shitty dive. Because so I was still a little nervous with braking since, you know, first lap here. Alright, now we must catch Takahashi here, which I should be able to uh, easily get around him here on the front straight. Because of just the immense amount of drag that I'm sure that GTR creates. Since, you know, Super GTR is more about handling. Oh, God. I would rather not catch him in the turn, though. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, let's see if we can hold P1 off as we transition off the oval this time. Oh, we are sliding oh so much. Takahashi's just kind of there, sticking his car in. Ooh, and shutting the door on me, closing my nose. Holy crap. I think Takahashi realizes this is his chance for glory, and he's, he's being the aggressor here. He's being very much the aggressor. Oh, boy, that was almost uh, Rossi slamming into me. That was awful! Sometimes I can hit that turn very well, and then there's other times where I just can't do it at all. I think there's going to be one of those races where I can't do that turn at all. Yeah, Takahashi's uh, Max Verstappen here. Oh, I touched the fucking sticky dirt. Let's not do that. Luckily it didn't slow me down too much, since I only had my left wheels on it. Alright, Verstappen. 
Nope. Can't do anything here. That was not the line at all. That was a very, very bad line. Oh, gotta run. Got the overtake. He's got the brakes, though. <laughs> oh, hey, test drive. This is an interesting little battle here because, you know, it's, it's basically handling versus power. Where he has the good handling car, but I have the much more powerful car. On pretty even ground here, you know, there's sections where I have a definite advantage and there's sections where he has the definite advantage. I like this. I like it. Of course, I get the advantage on... Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyways, I get the advantage on the most important part of the track, and that is the end of the lap. Fucking Takahashi with that outside move. Okay, we're carrying too much speed. Holy crap, I'm really bad at this uh, infield part. Luckily, I'm much better at the outfield part. Evans is right on my ass, and is McLaren F1. I'm apparently vi being very, very uh, bad with braking here. Go me. Also, I keep apexing that turn way too soon. It's one of those late apex turners. Fucking god. Very careful with that chicane, that was close. Get your ass back here, Takahashi. Can't run away from me. since he's definitely going to outbreak me and just out-turn me. Oh, no. Shooting up wide. Give him fucking contact. Test drive has pizza. You fucker. It's okay. I, I had pizza last night. Oh, got the inside lane. Got the acceleration. I got the lead. Since I didn't have to wait until the front straight, I might actually, like... Get a, have a good enough advantage here in the turn one to where I won't get fucking overtaken by Takahashi. Then again, I'm very bad at approaching this turn. And yep, I had a large enough lead. Sweet. P1, we are P1. I have a feeling I'll probably drive, end up driving this car a lot better in the second half of this race. I think this is going to be one of those cars where I have much better uh, f control over this thing on the interior cam as opposed to third person. Ooh, that was a really good chicane as far as like a line. Oh, and Evans has got around Takahashi now, so, uh... Takahashi's little five minutes of glory are over. Now Rossi's gonna give him pressure for f third place. He was leading the race one lap prior, and now he's in danger of falling off the podium. Oh no, okay, we're good. Almost went up into the wall. Is there a safer barrier around this track? Looks like it. Nice little detail there. Yeah, that's definitely a safer barrier. And we are in the second half of this race. Alright, interior time! 
Oh, big slide. Okay, that was actually probably my best entry into this, uh, or, yeah, best transition off the oval yet in this race. I see memes are going on in the chat. All right. Does anyone watch Fail Race? I watch Fail Race most of the time. He's cool. I like him. Hopefully one of my stupid clips can get on Fail Race video one day. One day. Then I'll get the exposure I need to become famous. No. Scotian is a quoting Astiff movie. All right. Interesting. I'm going to go back to racing here. Well, I'm driving now since racing is pretty much over. And hey, Takahashi has fallen off the podium. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, jeez. I have not sent that uh, clip to fail race yet. I need to record that still. And then reinstall Dropbox, because fuck me. Iris wristwatch. Shit, I fucked it up. Because I said Iris and not Irish. Back into the oval. Pulling away from Evans. Three laps to go. Oh, please do not go sliding everywhere. Short shift to avoid wheel spin. That one left-hander is so goddamn confusing because the cur like the inside curb stops before the apex. And it's just really off-putting. I think that's the biggest problem I have with that turn is you know the curbing kind of screws with my mind there. I also got kind of lucky with that chicane, not getting stuck on the uh, sticky dirt. Underneath the back stretch. Steep uphill as we transition back onto the oval. That chicane has sticky dirt everywhere, Harry. <laughs> like, you just. Of all the places you don't want to go off track, that is definitely the place you don't want to go off track. Alright, two to go. Got a only two second advantage over Evans. Cool. I will take it. Oh, big, big slide. Okie doke. I was hoping to power out of that, but instead that just kind of helped it drift more. Yeah, this track uh, was last seen in Forza 4, sadly. There's a lot of tracks that did not return in Forza 5, and it makes me sad. 5 and 6. You know, like Maple Valley. They decided to focus more on, you know, real tracks and also the Bernese fucking Alps.
I mean, a bland wrestler in 2K16 will win. Yeah, and that uh, three pack of Spanish tracks that Iberian is, or not is Dara, fucking, that's a car. Uh, Iberian, Ladera, and uh, Camino Viejo. Pretty much, like, almost all the fantasy tracks from Forza, except for Bernie's Alves, pretty much got axed in Forza 5, which makes me sad. I mean, I like Bernie's Alps track, don't get me wrong, but, eh. I wish the other tracks also, you know, made the next-gen jump. Unfortunately, they did not. I have not played BeamNG. It looks fun, but... I don't really have much interest in actually playing it myself, to be perfectly honest. Now, as we are on the final lap here at Sedona, it's been a fun 15 minutes here just driving around this track, because I, you know, love driving around this track. Oh, I forgot which turn I was at. Damn it. The curbs got me again. Yeah, Bernese Alps is kind of one of more of those, ooh, look at the pretty graphics tracks, and instead of, ooh, look how cool this track is, tracks. What well, I think of the WCPW schedule change. Unexpected, but... Hey, it's fine with me. I kind of understand because, you know, well, I, at least my thinking is like, you know, people don't want to sit through five hours of wrestling because Raw is also on shortly after Wikipedia on Mondays. I don't know. I'm fine with the schedule change. Kind of hoping it goes to Sunday instead of Friday. Because Friday would just fuck with Bagel Club like recording so much anyways we are on the oval for the final time and off the final turn victory yeah a nice uh, fight with Takahashi for the first three laps. He ends up falling to fourth, and I take the victory. Now we're only doing the live reactions for, you know, pay-per-views and stuff. My favorite car, Dodge Viper. All of them. Every single one. Ooh. Oh. Guess who scored a point? Spears got his first point of the championship. Took him three races. He did it. He did it. By God, he did it. Cool. <laughs> three credits for repairs. Nice. Oh, there we go. Ooh, we reached level 49, and we've also reached the level cap for this car. Sweet. With eight races to go in this thing. Awesome. All right, so we uh, reached level 49. And for reaching level 49, we got an Audi R10. Oh yeah. I like the Audi R10. It's really nice. The R10 and R15 don't really get as much love as the R8 and R18, sadly. I like the R10 and R15. So there we go, another race complete in the R3 World Championship. So we shall uh, mosey right along to our next uh, Versus series, and it's going to be Mustang versus Camaro. American Muscle Showdown, yeah! Oh wait, we've already did that. Right there, well, shootout, but still. Anyways, Mustang versus Camaro, next segment. Stay tuned for that, blah.